Hi everyone, my name is Tama Stamina, I'm a staff writer for the Kiev Post and today I'm bringing some gender equality to our newsy vlog. In case you were too busy to follow our coverage in print or online, here is a roundup of the top events of the week. The biggest news this week concerned Ukraine's acting healthcare minister Ulyana Suprun. A Kyiv court issued a ruling banning Suprun from performing her duties. The court decided that it was unlawful that Suprun had been the acting minister for more than a month. Now, I don't know if you latecomers know it, but she has actually occupied the post for more than two years. Another thing is that Suprun has dual citizenship – Ukrainian and American. And while it is illegal in Ukraine, the punishment is arbitrary. It's up to the president whether the person should be stripped of their Ukrainian passport. And in this case, president supports Suprun. Many see this court ruling as an attempt by authorities to obstruct the healthcare reform that Suprun has been working on successfully since 2016. 2016. Suprun is popular among young Ukrainians due to her Facebook profile, where she takes down popular healthcare myths. By the way, if you didn't know, you can eat ice cream even when you're sick. And she recently suggested legalizing cannabis in Ukraine for medical use only. It's a bold step in a country where possessing over 5 grams of weed is punishable by jail. Her opponents, such as Ukrainian lawmaker Igor Masichuk, who filed a lawsuit against Suprun, say that she's causing an irreparable harm to Ukraine's healthcare system. But we all know the truth. You guys just don't want to pay taxes on your weed. The court's decision caused a backlash from Suprun's supporters, and the battle for her to keep the minister's chair will continue with at least two rallies to be held in Kyiv next week. The Ukrainian parliament moved to make Ukraine's aims to join NATO and the European Union part of the country's constitution. Many Ukrainians wish it was part of our reality, but nope, only constitution for now. The new law inserts amendments to the constitution regarding Ukraine's strategic reproach, re rapprochement. Rapprochement. regarding Ukraine's strategic rapprochement with NATO and the European Union. Ukrainian president Petro Poroshenko was president for the histo president <laughs> was present for the historic vote. He told lawmakers that Ukraine's leadership would continue to make efforts to reform the country. Critics of Poroshenko say that it's a PR move meant to increase his popularity ahead of the March presidential election. And the law looks a bit belated, given that it's already five years since the Euromaidan revolution, which supported Ukraine's Euro-Atlantic integration, five years since Russia occupied Crimea and unleashed a war in Ukraine's east, and five years since Poroshenko was elected president. However, the move is actually unprecedented among all of the nations that have ever sought membership of the EU or NATO. Well, at least there's something that we were the first ones to do. And this week was also full of awkward incidents and statements by politicians. First, former Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych, who fled the country during the Euromaidan revolution in 2014, amused the Ukrainian public by giving a press conference in Russia, where he now lives. Answering one question, Yanukovych said that he was suckered by new Ukrainian authorities like a dupe. Yeah, he actually said that. Needless to say, it quickly became a meme on social media. Ah, oh, these good old times when the president was an ex-convict with his sophisticated lingo. But Yanukovych had some competition, linguistically speaking. This week, a lawmaker for the president's party, Irina Lutsenko, was addressing the parliament when she realized she was reading the wrong speech. And she... She didn't hide her surprise. Her husband and the prosecutor general of Ukraine, Yuri Lutsenko, was supportive of his wife. He published a post congratulating his wife on her birthday, which happened to be on the same day, 
and used this same curse word right before writing I love you. For more drama, loves and political news, follow the Kyiv Post on YouTube and social media. Bye-bye! Who wrote the script, I'm asking you?